there's something something's really cool is going to happen on uh, Saturday, October fourteenth, and um, we're going to be able yes. to. This is this is kind of a big deal. We're going to be able to take and and being at the camp out, we're going to be able to take part in this. And um, there is a um, on October uh, an annular solar eclipse. Now, there's two different types of eclipses. There's the total eclipse, you know, where the moon blocks everything out. You know, when it when it crosses in front of the sun, and then the annular eclipse is because of the position of the moon in relation to the sun, you don't get that you don't get that totality. You know, maybe it's like ninety percent coverage. So, um, uh, so that's what that's what we're going to be experiencing on Saturday morning is an annular eclipse. Um, yeah. Now and, we uh, had a total eclipse a few years ago. About well, five and years there, ago, yeah. About four or five years ago. And there was some research done in the, in the ham radio world. And what happens is what we've noticed is that the F layer starts to do what it does at dusk. It starts to start separating into F1 and F2. And your 40 and 80 meters really starts to come around for that period of coverage, that 30 minutes to 45 minutes or even an hour, depending on where you are with the path of the um, eclipse. Mm -hmm. And you can start making 40 and 80 meter contacts in the daytime. In the daytime hours. That is correct. Right. So I think I think if you really want to make a real cool photo contact with us, we'll try to work your forty and eighty during uh, during the day during the eclipse. Let's see yep. what happens. Now the um, the maximum is going to be around is going to is going to cut through um, the southwestern U.S. and affect most of the state of Texas. Up here in northern Wisconsin, they're only expecting about forty percent. Um, a 40 for 40% 40 coverage. So it might get a little wonky for us, but, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how that kind of, how that, mm -hmm. that F layer sort of plays out. Um, right. as, and hopefully as, we have as, some, um, FT8 and CW operators and yep. we'll see what the difference is between them and, 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 uh, sideband as well. There we go. So. Um, the where and when, um, this is, yep. Let's see if I can, I can't blow it. This is not letting me blow it up. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, you blew it up there. There. We, go. there we go. There we go. So as you can see, you know, the big stuff is going to happen in the West and, and in Wisconsin here, we're only going to see 40% coverage. Um, I think it's, if I remember correctly for us, it's going to start around, 10 30 in the morning and um the maximum is going to be 11 45 central time and about one o'clock p.m it's going to be over with okay so so this will be a midday sort of thing central standard late, time. late morning it's going to be a late central morning daylight thing. time we're still on daylight time so. daylight time yeah it's going to be a late morning thing for us in uh okay um and and your times you know depending on your time zone you know, and um, and these how the sun's position and, and things like that. Uh, there's there's a lot of good sites you can go that'll give you very accurate um, description of what you you know what a, a portrayal of what your what the time times are going to mm -hmm. be. You just enter your you just enter your um, your location your 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 latitude and longitude or your zip code or something like that, and it'll figure out where you live and um, it'll calculate those those times so mm -hmm. just google just google um annular eclipse times or something like that i think it was like timeanddate.com had that um had a had a good um yeah. uh, map and um and chart to, to tell you where the what the times right. are going to be so so definitely that's going to be that's going to be a really crazy thing especially for having all yep. of us here in um in wisconsin uh, teaming up for a Porto weekend at a campsite so um We'll report back next month, let you know how it turned out. Yep. And that's Saturday, October 14th. Um, so it's a week from Saturday. So yep. it's, um, we'll be, this is going to be, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, <laughs> camping and, um, and, and see, you know, see what, seeing what the eclipse does. So. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.